In this video, I would like to introduce a graph search algorithm visualizer that runs in browser. BFS and DFS are two famous graph search algorithms that are widely used. A star is quite similar, but requires an heuristic function, which could largely improve the performance. I learned BFS and DFS in a data structure course and A star algorithm in an artificial intelligence course around two years ago. In the meanwhile, I just got started on learning web development. So I decided to make this visualizer to practice my front end design skill and hopefully help other students to understand these algorithms in a more intuitive way. The animation was accomplished by manipulating the colors of a bunch of div elements using DOM and jQuery. I know it's a better idea to use Canvas and JavaScript libraries like P5.js, but I didn't know any back then. And this is a simple task that can be easily done with Storm. I won't go into the details of the algorithms, but focus on how to use a visualizer. So if you just started learning, I recommend you to first briefly read about how the algorithms work. First of all, you can change the size of the map. I usually use a 50 by 50 map, but you can start with a smaller one. The default size is 30 by 30. Don't try to set a huge number because your computer may not be able to handle it. The max you can set is 150 by 150. You can see the time and space complexity at the bottom. The algorithms requires loss of memory and time. To make everything easier, I treat every cell in the grid as a vertex. And to make it more realistic, you can add walls to the map. A wall could block the searching path. You can select wall radio button and drag your mouse around to select walls. You can also just click random walls to generate them automatically. You'll be asked to select the percentage of cells you want to turn into walls. The default value is 30%. The randomly generated map might have no valid searching path, so you can also select clear button to clear the walls. Source and target are necessary components in graph searching. Source is a vertex search begins, and target is just the target you are searching for. I limit the number for both source and target to be 1 for simplicity, but that's not always the case in real life. There are three algorithms you can choose from, BFS, DFS, and A star, and I will begin with BFS. After selecting source, target, walls, and algorithm, you can click start search and animation to start the animation. The black cells are the vertices that have been explored, and the number of black cells reflects the actual time taken. The purple path is a path from source to target. Depending on the algorithm, the length of a path could be different. For BFS, the path returned is always the shortest path. The animation may be too quick for you to see what's going on. I provided a few tools to slow the animation down. You can pause the animation when it's running, you can change the simulator speed so that it runs very slowly. And you can even click the step button to run the animation step by step like a debugger. If you have learned how BFS works, you should know that the white color means not discovered. Gray color means discovered or cute to be explored and black color means explored. You can see that the gray cells expand layer by layer. The numbers in each cell are the distance from the source. In BFS, every layer has the same number, and that's how BFS works. The entire layer of cells turn gray together, but computers need to do this cell by cell in real life. I made the animation this way to facilitate your understanding on BFS. So the animation time here doesn't really reflect the speed of the algorithms. I will talk more about this when I talk about DFS. DFS starts as a source node and explores as far as possible along each branch before backtracking. We use the same map as the one we used for BFS. But the animation time taken was much longer. This doesn't mean BFS runs faster than DFS in this example. If you want to know which algorithm runs faster given the same map, you should look at the log section. The records for each search are locked here. It contains total searched, total discovered, and past length. The total search number reflects the actual time taken. Given this map, DFS took 589 steps, and BFS took 610. 
DFS is indeed faster, but it didn't return the shortest path. Lastly, let's talk about A star algorithm. The animation of A star looks cool, but unlike BFS or DFS, you really need to learn the algorithm before you can understand what's going on. A star requires an heuristic function, and I'm using Manhattan distance here. Manhattan distance is just the addition of distance to the target for both x and y direction. A star searches in multiple directions at the same time and keeps track of the estimated cost or distance in this example. It always explores in the direction with the lowest estimated cost to the target. A star also guarantees shortest path. You can see that the path lenses for A star is the same as the path for BFS, given the same map. Thank you for watching and I hope this visualizer helped you to understand the beauty of algorithms.